Hey, welcome back. Just checking on the snowstorm. It's still coming down. It's still coming down hard. Uh, we'll see exactly how this all lays out. So, good times. any rate, for those of you who follow Link Lee's channel, you probably uh, saw that he made fun of me a little bit because I made fun of him on, I think, the fourth video of this particular run. Um, he has a valid point. I don't have a catchphrase, but do I actually need one? I'm not so sure. But it was still pretty dang entertaining. Ooh, I'm Norimaki. I'm the salty sweet gamer that I don't know, anybody who knows what Norimaki really is knows it's not sweet. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, gotta figure out what to do here. Yeah, we crashed. Oh yeah. Time to violate the UP3 even more. Door's locked. <sighs> well, nowhere to go. Stand here in panic. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? Just sit there all day? I'll put her to work. Let the primitives figure it out. You there, move! Oh, here comes the, the police. Way. Off the road. Hey, at least we move up a little bit. Everybody had wood construction and linen and cotton clothing. Various now everyone's weapons. wearing armor. I call that some progress in technology. <laughs> I got a snirk from Chris on that one. <laughs> seem to be surrounded by a group of local soldiers now. What will you do? Not much we can do with the eagle scrapped like this. Fighting our way out isn't really an option. Well, it always is an option. Well, at least we're still in one piece. For now, maybe. Oh, oh well, let's just step outside and see what happens. Hold on just a second. If you guys heard that, guess who's playing World of Even Warcraft and guess who's having problems. Will get us in trouble. Besides, she plays no a healer, so she complains a lot. There. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've I've been on the uh, raw end of that one before. Well, still. I've got a hunch they won't kill us right away. Oh boy. Another hunch? Come on. Trust I'm not relying me. on Cliff's hunches. That's safety? always a good idea. I tell you, my hunches are always right. Always? How about that time when we almost crashed into that asteroid because of a hunch? <laughs> oh, but that was one time. One time. Just one time. At any rate, I don't think we have any other choice. What do you think they'll do? Arrest you? Run you through with a sword? I don't know. One of those. Yeah, but only you and I. Huh? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. But Mirage? All alone? All by yourself. She's a Clausian. She'll be fine. I pity the soldier. Well, he makes it sound like the Clausians are the elite race. Go figure. They're all blonde and blue, or uh, blonde haired and blue eyed. No need. Hmm. I'm not going to make a parallel here. I'll let the game theorists deal with that one. You scout around and find a way to contact the diplomat. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Although that is an interesting Roger. game theory. <laughs> All right. I actually kind of challenge the game theorists to actually make that comparison if they want to. Fate. Be careful. Thanks. You too, Mirage. Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay. Be careful. 
Alright, time to go face the music. Something moving. What? Person. The big metal snail is opening. There's people in there. Um, uh, we get them. Wait, please. Give it up. Give up. Look behind. Whoa, big ugly guy. Oh. Yeah, it scared me too. Ah. Well, what was it? We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. What think you, Voltar? If this object <laughs> that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquarian God, I hope you guys can hear that. Ability to wage war of late. Lord Voltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry. Albel's Black Brigade Heavy Cavalry, and my Winged Dragon Brigade for good measure. They stand no chance against our legions. Ah, screw Vox, I hate that guy. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence... Hey, with age no does harm. come wisdom. Right, Albel? If they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, oh, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My men have already begun to Sorry, ladies, I believe members. that that uh, sexy, skinny them. guy there the loves the guys. The Just saying. Enjoy. He is the best. As long as they do not die before they talk. We are not barbarians. Even prisoners have certain rights. You speak absurdities. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. Guess these guys haven't if heard of the Miranda rights. Result, and so be it. You've grown much too soft in your old age, Walter. Compared to you, that may be true. I'm willing to do what's necessary, but I think your men have a tendency to take things too far. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. If that's too much trouble, I'll be happy to take care of them. Hmm. We know what we have to do, my lord. Don't worry. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough before they croak, eh? I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to haggle over such matters. Indeed, it is not. Vox, continue your interrogation. You guys might recognize Eric List 13's voice Return to your from posts. one certain we are game on called your Xenosaga. You are the pride of our great kingdom. Maybe one day I'll actually do a playthrough yes, of that. Sir. Although, that's more like playing a movie than it is a game. Um, I didn't actually beat the trilogy. I got about Why maybe halfway through the second one and could kind of got stuck, so Play I gave nice. up on it. So, maybe it's time for a little redemption. Oh, look, it's the Gimp. That thing you were riding, what was that? A new Aquarian weapon, eh? Aquarius? It's the age of Aquarius. Answer the question! <clears throat> I told you, I don't know. 
Yeah, he's whipping it good. And pass out. Has a thing for kitties. Quick, leap, leap, hide beef. This one in the cell. Yes, sir. Sorry, my microphone just hit my shoulder. to torture than you are. Yeah, what are we into there, Cliff? Federation organization. You could say I've been around. Uh, Again, I reiterate, well, what have you are into, Cliff? What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Well, apparently it's really Why cold in that cell. Anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah, there would have been too much of a hassle. What a drag. Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt too. <laughs> Way to go, Captain Obvious. Very funny. Say, do you know what Aquaria is? Aquarium. Uh, astrological symbol. Oh wait, not Aquarius. Yes. Referring to the hmm. eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <clears throat> Damn, they're too tight. I can't move at all. Just figured that out, did we, That's Blondie? They call them restraints. Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Oh, I'm sure we'll find a way. Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. Bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Vendini captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. You'll see. Hmm. And who Class that fool kind of guy. Be? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. What? Ooh. Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey! You have two options. Accept my conditions and live. Or refuse and die here. Hey, it's, it's Faye Valentine. Huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell on the town, correct? We want your technology. Our technology? We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well... Yeah, good job, Fate. Stick your foot in your mouth a little bit more. And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. 
With our side victorious, of course. Hold on a minute. Your country? So, you're not one of the people that threw us in here? No, I'm not from Ariglet. I'm from Aquaria. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning that name. Makes sense now. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Ariglet. Why not help me? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. There's a big reason why. Good point. We'll help you. What are you saying? Anything to get out of those restraints. Give us a moment, alright? Shut your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? Come on, you saw the civilization's level of technology? Look, all they need is a little college business. I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. <laughs> You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. And again, maybe that's your redeeming. What age is Cliff living in calling me a square? Just like, just like who? Huh? Did I say something? Never mind. I'm minding. Jeez, forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, we must be in Eric right now. This place is at war with her country, Aquarium. You with me so far? Yeah, that yeah. was pretty obvious. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. That makes sense. A big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else we Even if we don't cooperate with her, Eric Lev will want our help too. I doubt their terms will be any better. Yeah, but... So what I'm saying is, if we're going to cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. Oh, you know I, mean? I see what head you're thinking you with Cliff. This. You're insane. Well, to make some okay, strawberry shortcake, I mean strawberry trip. blondes. Either way, we can do whatever we want once <laughs> oh, we're out That was bad. Just wait for our chance and make a run. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> we're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's going to rescue Cliff, I thought dad, you were huh? into bondage, buddy. You, you know about whips, one, bondage, man. restraints. Just saying. What's your safety word? All right. You win for now. That a boy. All right, we discussed it. We'll help you. Now get us out of here. Then we have a deal. Step back from the bars. she just do? I like that poker face, Fate. You're that free. was good. Thanks for getting us out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us, too? Oh, uh, she's got something much better planned. Don't move. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. Huh? You said you'd cooperate with us. Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run, either. Because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she hurt us. I should thank you for calling me hot, though chick I can live without. <laughs> Scary. I'm Nell Zelfer, agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. My name's Fate Lingard, and this is... Cliff Bitter. Fate and Cliff, my pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here in? Oh, I'm sure she heard that too. My lead. And that. Yeah, sure. And that. We're from a country on a continent part of the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it. But we've got some pretty solid technology. Yeah, very solid. From the east. One of the countries in Greeton? 
not the country that invaded Aquaria. That what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Aeriglyph? Well, the long story would take all day, so I'll give you the short version. Faith's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. It's so believable, and he throws a here. bunch of uhs in there. I see. Wow, he sure is a smooth talker. And not all I didn't think so, Fate. So you are from Greeton. I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. Well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aeriglyph have you. You must cooperate with us. No. That's your name, right? Yes. What do you mean by cooperate? What technology did you want exactly? And sorry, we are way over time on this one, but again, a lot of story. Don't What's want to interrupt it in any way, shape, or form, hey, so. What? We'll just have to ride through it as much as possible. I will try to minimize these impacts as I can, but occasionally it does happen that way. Why? Especially with this game. If I ever actually did the Xenosaga series, we'd be in for a world to hurt. I need some kind of weapon. I thought this might happen. In there. Oh, she came prepared. What's this? Your stuff. I got it back for you. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Fake, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. Ooh, thank somebody's sweaty underwear? No, thank you. Oh, this is a perfect time for a break since I actually have to press a button. So I will let you slackers get back to work. Stop watching YouTube while you're actually at your job. <laughs> Just kidding. At any rate, guys, if you do like what you see, please uh, like and subscribe to the videos. Would love to see this channel grow. And uh, aside from that, we will see you on the next run.